Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are checking out a video of pop star royalty Miss Sarah Geronimo performing one of Celine Dion's original songs entitled It's All Coming Back to Me Now. But before we play the video, inviting everyone to follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. And if you are here for the very first time, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Pew. As usual, for the full performance without any interruption, without my comments, Please head to my description box and you will find a link there which will direct you to the original video. Because I will be pausing this video in between to give my honest observations and comments. Okay, let's get into it. You guys might be wondering why I chose this particular song. Since people were saying that she sounds a lot like Celine Dion, I want to hear for myself how much she sounds like her, especially when performing one of Celine's most iconic songs. Okay, when she performed the song To Love You More, which won her the grand prize in the television singing contest, Star for a Night, I remember her sounding exactly like Celine. To this day, if I listened to her rendition in the radio, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Fast forward to the present. Basing on the first verse she just did, nope, she doesn't sound like Celine, but she does have the power. She is starting the song strong. Nice. There were days when the sun was so cruel. The tears turned to dust, and I just knew my hands were dry. You guys know what? I actually prefer her Sarah voice way more than her Celine voice. Nothing against Celine nor her past performances where she sounded like her. But I just think her tone is uniquely beautiful. And I'm so glad that she was able to veer away from that shadow and shine in her own light. Even the way she subtly changed her riff here is so refreshing. I love how open she sounds and how resonant her voice is. She obviously has excellent control of her pipes. Her vibrato is exquisite and she sounds expensive. Let's go back to the video. To 
The softness in her voice sounds so vulnerable, at the same time, charming. I really don't know how she does it, but it's like she's trying to make us feel the pain and then making us fall in love with her. And I can say she's succeeding. She is sucking us in with her heartfelt rendition. Let's continue. Did you guys hear that? The way she delivered the verse, there were nights of endless pleasure. I can listen to it over and over again. It's orgasmic. The power in this young lady's voice, the way she hit those E5s like there's nothing to it. By the way, the word baby is not an easy word to belt out, but she did it perfectly. And she did it in a way that is pleasing to the ears. What can I say? I'm impressed. The mic was held so far away from her mouth and she is still giving us so much power. She's doing extremely well. And actually I'm starting to like this version more than the original one. I don't know if it's just me, but to this point, I'm not hearing any trace of Celine in her tone. It's like, I'm listening to a Sarah song, not a Celine song. Let's go back. Okay, I just heard a slight Celine inflection right there when she sang Slamming of the Door. Maybe the Celine in her is starting to come out. Let's see. That was so satisfying. Her projection is crazy good. She's belting. She's delivering a lot of power. But she doesn't sound noisy nor irritating. And I also hope you folks notice the way she changed the phrasing. Uh, in, uh, and I never wasted any of my time on you since then. Aside from being a nice variation, it is a clever, a clever way of sneaking in a quick breath. Very smart move. And you can tell that she is a smart singer. Off topic, this has nothing to do with her voice, 
but can you guys just look at her face check out her high cheekbones the bridge of her nose her lips gorgeous girl isn't she she must have a lot of suitors going crazy over her she is beauty and talent rolled into one She just reminded me of Michael Jackson, the way she spread her arms like that. Come on, you gotta love her stage presence. Let's get back to the clip. Wow, hitting five consecutive E5s there, then a D5 and a C5, if I'm not mistaken. And she looks darn pretty doing it. You do realize that she is performing one of Celine Dion's hardest pieces, don't you? This song requires her to constantly hit C5s, D5s, E5s and to deliver power and emotions at the same time but she's doing it so well that we just get lost in her performance One thing I noticed about Sarah when she performs is she performs from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. And I'm not talking about choreography, okay? I'm referring to her energy. It's like there's this electricity, this energy flowing through her veins, and she's radiating this to her audience. That's why we can't take our eyes off her. That's a gift not everyone has. Also, she never seems to break character in any of the songs she does. That's why she looks every inch a star every time she performs on stage. Let's continue to watch the video. The way she sustained that without losing power till the very end. If you think this is an easy song, try singing it the way she did. And you will find out that it is not at all easy to have to constantly hit those C5s and D5s in full chest voice with almost no rest in between. And you cannot even cheat with your head voice. This song is actually very tiring for the chords and your dynamics have to be real good to go from an aggressive wrecking ball to a light feather. Without proper control and vocal endurance, sometimes your voice may crack somewhere in between, in between the transitions.
There you have it, an emotional ending to a powerful rendition. Awesome, Sarah. She has come a long, long way, and people can no longer say that she is a Celine Dion wannabe. You may like her, you may not, but you cannot deny the fact that her voice is a powerful instrument that she knows how to use incredibly well. Without that voice, she wouldn't be where she is today. And that voice is a force to be reckoned with. Believe it or not, every singer has his strengths and weaknesses. No one, no one is exempted from this fact. Not even the greatest singer on earth. What's important is to know how to leverage your strengths and to downplay your weaknesses. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please share with me your thoughts about this performance down below at the comment section. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max Q. Stay safe and happy everyone. See you again next time.